Yeah. Yeah. So in the last classes, we were talking about uh, only triangular lamina and uh, square lamina, and I solved one problem on rectangular uh, lamina also. In today's class, I will start with uh, two problems. Uh, one is on both the problems on uh, pentagonal lamina. Okay. So I think in the last uh, two classes, uh, I was talking about uh, the lamina, which is resting uh, with uh, one of its edges on HP. And in the last class, I started with uh, lamina resting on one of its uh, 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 corner on HP. So in today's class also, we are going to start with uh, uh, the lamina resting on HP with one of its corners. Okay. So today I will going to start with uh, the first problem today. So please make a note of these things, hoping that everybody knows uh, how to construct a uh, regular pentagon. Regular pentagon construction is very important. So once you understand uh, the uh, problem statement, later I will take you for the whiteboard and we will go into just uh, start the solving the problem. Okay. So please make a note of this problem. Firstly, okay, it will be there in the display in the note uh, in the PPT, and also I will go to explain you. I am going to dictate you this problem also. Okay. So let us start with the problem here. <clears throat> a pentagonal lamina, please make a note of this, everybody. Please make a note of this problem statement. A pentagonal lamina, a pentagonal lamina. Pentagonal lamina having edges twenty five millimeter, having edges twenty five millimeter, is placed on is placed on one of its corners on HP. One of its corners on HP, such that such that. Such that surface of the lamina makes the surface of the lamina makes such that the surface of the lamina makes <coughs> an angle of thirty degrees with HP. Thirty degrees with HP and perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector of the edge of the edge passing through the corner of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests. Perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests. appears to be inclined at appears to be inclined at 30 degrees to b 30 degrees to bp draw the top and front views of the lamina draw the top and front views of the lamina so this is a typical uh, Examination problem for 25 marks. Okay, so please uh, try to construct this. Construct the pentagonal lamina correctly. Don't do mistakes here because uh, initial position construction of pentagonal lamina is very very important here. You have to construct a regular pentagon. Okay, so in the first class of the GDL, I discussed the two different methods how we can construct uh, the pentagonal lamina. Okay. So either you can use the protractor by taking the exterior angle and uh, uh, with the compass you can construct or you can do that uh, taking interior angle and 54 degrees that also whichever you feel uh, the method is comfortable for you so you can construct it okay so but initial position if you make a mistake in pentagonal lamina in construction so you will lose 25 marks so please construct the regular pentagon correctly okay so I will just uh, read out the problem once again. So if you have any doubts or any clarification, you can make. A pentagonal lamina having edges 25 millimeter is placed on one of its corners on HP. 
such that the surface makes an angle of 30 degrees with hp and perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degrees to vp draw the top and front views of the lamp okay so now i will take you to the whiteboard directly so there we will go into <coughs> draw this uh, projection okay so please have your uh, sketch books and drawing instruments ready okay so if you could not able to do it in a time because uh, maybe around 30 minutes time is left out for us uh, so if you could not able to do but i expect you to do it but if you could not able to do please have a rough sketch and please keep on observing how i will be keep on doing and uh, try to if possible try to do this because pentagon it takes little time for construction and for transferring for second position to third position it takes time so please uh, <coughs> as fast as possible try to do it if you could not able to do have a rough sketch note down and observe how i will going to do the procedure and later onwards you can transfer it into the sketch okay let us start now so first as usual draw an x y line Now things as capital X, and here Y, and of course VP and HP. So these things are mandatory when you are drawing this VP and HP, which is you have. Must and should we have to represent X Y line and B P and H. Okay, so this is the common thing in every problem. Now the question you have to remember, understand here is uh, the lamina is a pentagonal lamina having a twenty five millimeter side. It is resting on H P with one of its corners. So five different points are uh, just note down. One is the type of lamina, second time is on which it is resting, whether it is resting on HP or resting on VP. Third important thing is whether it is resting on corner or resting on the edge. Fifth important, fourth important point is inclination with respect to HP. And the last one is inclination with respect to VP. So these are the five important things what you propose to remember. So let us start with the initial position, constructing a pentagonal lamina of 25 millimeter size, such that the lamina the corner of the lamina should come to your left to left the corner should come to your left in such a way that you have to construct a pentagonal lamina so i will try my level best to do it correctly but uh, some uh, because of uh, some problems with the uh, flexibility with this uh, software uh, i may not be exact okay so i will do it as uh, near to the exact Please try to understand, but of course, almost same, but might be some uh, uh, joinings of lines and some inclinations might be different. So please observe this, observe, observe the procedure and follow with the things what I will go into explaining. Okay, let us start with now. So, first you draw a horizontal uh, sorry, vertical line of 25 millimeter. Okay, then you have to construct a pendant. So, the method what you can follow, which is with your Feel comfortable, so you can use that method taking the interior angle or exterior angle or whatever, whichever the method I explained. But you can do that and you can construct a pentagon. Okay.
construct the pentagon and uh, give the annotations for this. So this point we take it as A. This is B. This is C. Just construct this. Just I will uh, enter these things. Uh, by the time you can just construct this pentagon. This is D. And this is C. Okay. So this is of uh, 25 millimeter size. So please uh, note that this is 25 millimeter size pentagon. Dimensioning has to be shown. It is mandatory for you to show the dimension. Okay. For 25 millimeter side pentagon, so we need to construct. Okay. So here. So this is the top view of a pentagonal lamina resting on HP with one of its corners on touching the HP. So this is the basic uh, initial position of uh, the pentagonal lamina. The next thing is to get the front view for this as usual projected. Once you construct a regular pentagon, see you just just observe this A and E should be collinear. Okay, when you draw a projector, so that line should come and uh, with a please check that. Like this, please draw the vertical projector to get the front view. So, as usual, when you observe this uh, pentagon from the front, you can see the two edges AB and BC. Okay, so all the points A, B, and C, three points are visible in the front view, and D coincides with C, hence it is invisible, and E coincides with B, hence it is invisible. So points D and E should be represented in the form of a within the parenthesis in the front view. Okay. So let us start marking the points first. This is A dash. Okay. Then comes where it is. B dash is visible in the front view and it coincides with the E dash, so hence we are going to get it in a, within the parenthesis. And next comes the last two points, which is C dash, C is visible in the front, and D is not visible in the front. So then join all these points, all the three points with a thick line from A to So this is the front view for the initial position. Okay, so this is what we call it as the initial. Position. Okay. So we are satisfying the condition the pentagonal lamina resting on HP with one of its corners touching A. So this is the initial position. We have constructed a pentagon, we have drawn the front view. 
front view of this, and this is the completion of the initial position. In the second position, what he says is the lamina, the surface of the lamina is inclined to HP at 30 degrees. So now what we are supposed to do, we have to draw a line for 30 degrees, draw a line for 30 degrees. You have to draw a line in such a way that you are tilting the lamina on the corner A dash. So A dash is the corner on which the lamina is resting on HP. In a sense, that is the corner which touches HP, and hence you have to draw a 30 degree line which starts from the X file. So where this 30 degree line intersects the XY line, that point you need to mark it as the corner A dash. So this will satisfy that you are tilting the lamina, you are inclining the lamina or you are rotating the lamina on the corner A dash such that it makes an angle of 30 degrees with respect to H. So this is how we are supposed to satisfy the conditions over here. Okay. So 30 degrees. So now what you're supposed to do is now you are marking the point A dash should come on the intersection of 30 degree line with respect to the XY line. So where we are satisfying, you are rotating the lamina on the corner. That is A dash, the resting part. So therefore, so the A dash, the point A dash should come over here. Be careful while you are writing down. Okay. Then comes Now you have to measure A dash and B dash in the front view. A dash and B dash. Take a compass. Measure or with A as A dash as center, take the radius of B dash. And with the same radius, you just here on 30 degree line, with A dash as a center, you draw an arc. You draw an arc. The radius should be equal to A dash and B dash. To draw an arc over here, so you will go to get the point what we call it as. So that point we will go to take it as B dash within the bracket, you will get B dash. So like this, you have to construct it. So here. We are getting B dash and E dash. So this point. In a similar way, so take a compass, measure A dash and C dash in the front view. Okay. And draw an arc with the C A dash as a center. Okay. With the radius equal to A dash and C dash. And on 30 degree line, you mark. Draw an arc. And that point you are going to let it as B dash within the bracket B dash. So what we are doing here is you are transferring this entire length over there. Okay, entire that A dash and C dash, and you are showing the lamina is inclined to HP resting on the corner with respect to HP at 30 degrees. So this is how we will go into market. Okay. So now you can make the line that is A dash to C dash as a thick line. Make it as a 
fifth line so line and from a dash to a dash make it as a so this is how we will do it to satisfy the condition of the lamina is inclined to hp at certain okay so once you show that then the rest of things is to draw the projector lines draw the projector lines from the second position front view very thin lines you should draw and similarly from the initial position top view from each point you have to draw the horizontal projector where it intersects the vertical projectors from the second position front view This is how. So you are going to draw the projector lines, and as usual, so the intersection of vertical projector with the horizontal projector. So you just mark it here. This intersection is A. and this will become b and this intersection point will become c and similarly this will this will become d that is c and e will be So now you join all these points with a thick line. So from A to B, okay. Then B to E, okay. Then C to D. then d to e then e to so this is how you complete the problem with the second position okay so second position so we have just drawn okay so this is the second position yeah now is the third position what is says is the perpendicular bisector from the edge or sorry corner which is resting to the opposite edge so the edge rest a resting edge is a here and the edge opposite to the corner a is cd so now you have to draw a perpendicular bisector from corner a to the edge cd so that 
perpendicular bisector appears to be inclined to VP at 30. So here, so you can draw a perpendicular bisector from A to perpendicular bisector till this point where it touches the opposite edge, which you call it as C. So now the way it touches that we are going to take it as M1. I will take that point as M1 first for time being. Okay. So this is the perpendicular bisector here. That is A M1 is the perpendicular bisector in the front view. Okay, what we are drawing. Now what we are supposed to do here is in the third position, this AM appears to be inclined to VP at 30 degrees. So to satisfy that condition, what we supposed to do is we have to draw a 30 degree line. On the 30 degree line, this AM1 should come. So first you can mark the AM1 over that 30 degree line, and then we have to construct this pentagon. Okay. So that will satisfy the condition that the lamina, that is a perpendicular bisector from the corner to the opposite edge, is appears to be inclined to be at 30. Okay. Let us draw that first. So draw a line for 30 degrees. So it is a 30 degree line. Okay. So here, now what you have to do is you have to transfer this AM1 over this 30 degree line. So for that, first you can do mark A over here and then measure AM1 and then you have to construct this, the second top loop over there. So for that, what you can do, first you mark the points, it is always better, mark A, please observe this procedure over here, next measure AM1 with A as a center and cut this, okay, so you will going to get the AM1, so you can come where you can cut here, so that will be M1 point. Okay, now join that line. From A to M1. Now with this A and M1 with the reference, you have to construct this pentagon. Okay, so you have to do that. That work has to be done. So that takes some time for you people. Okay, please observe it. Upwards you can uh, uh, draw it. Okay, so I will use different method of constructing this, but you have to use different methods of constructing because. Uh,
Biz de aktör değiliz. Like this, you should fit and move fast to our button only that's time here. So draw the projectors. Correspondingly, you mark the all the what we call it as the, the points. So one the thing what you should be very careful here is this AM1 should be on this side. Then we have to join all these points. See, A where it is starting here, A will be here. This will be over here. Okay. Then B to C. Like this, you will be going to get it. Okay. So, if you have any clarification, I will go to do it because time is running out here. So, if you have any clarification, I will join for the next class. Okay. So, please complete this problem in this respect. Okay. So, only just two minutes, one only just uh, less than one minute left for me.